According to Iranian Air Force Commander Brigadier General Aziz Nasirzadeh, the drone named Cayman 22, Bo 22, is the first wide-body combat drone manufactured by local experts. Speaking on the sidelines of his visit to a site manufacturing the advanced pilotless aircraft, he said the new aircraft is equipped with various combat, optical and electronic warfare systems and has a flight endurance of over 24 hours and a range of 3,000 kilometers. Cayman 22 is utilized in a range of operations, such as patrol, reconnaissance, data gathering, imaging, and aerial combat with a payload of smart weapons. In January, the Iranian army staged a war game and flew new military suicide drones that can conduct non-stop sorties to hit targets at a range of 4,000 kilometers. Iranian media said, Cayman 22 Yukov can operate continuously for more than 24 hours with a range of 3,000 kilometers and carries a maximum of 300 kilograms of weapons. It was developed to perform a variety of missions such as patrolling, reconnaissance, intelligence gathering, aerial photography, and precision attacks. This drone is equipped with combat and optical cargo and is designed based on the operational needs of the Air Force and is in the final stages of production, said the commander of the IRAF. It is worth noting that the Yukov of Iran looks almost identical to the most famous combat Yukov currently on the battlefield, the USMQ-9 Reaper. Western experts believe that Cayman 22 is designed based on the USMQ-9 Reaper series. Compared to the MQ-9 Reaper, Iran's Yukov is smaller in size, similar to the MQ-1 Predator series. Some of the other differences are in the landing gear, the wing tip, and the nose shape. It also carries an unknown set of weapons at hard points. The Cayman 22 prototype is on display with six hard points under the wing. It can carry four guided missiles and two unguided bombs, as well as weapons like the domestic version of the GBU-12 Paveway Laser Guided Bomb, and another one seems to be an ANALQ-101 ECM pod lookalike. Iran has been trying to build up its UAV force since the 1980s, with domestic products at its core. Some modern Iranian UAVs are copied from American products, such as the Segan and Shad 171 developed from the RQ-170 Sentinel stealth UAV platform, which was forced to land by Iran in 2011. Another product is the Shad 129, which is very similar to the MQ-1 Predator. Iran has been increasing its drone capabilities in recent years, it has a large number of militarized drones such as the Shad, Mohajer and Abable lines. Tehran also recently showcased a new drone named after Gaza. It claims that its drones have long ranges, stretching over 1,600 kilometers, and that some can carry missiles, while others can be pre-programmed to carry out precision attacks by slamming into targets. For instance, Iranian-style kamikaze drones have been developed by Hamas in Gaza, where they are called Shehab, and by the Iranian-backed Houthis in Yemen, who use the Kasif drone. The Houthis have terrorized Saudi Arabia with these UAVs. These drones carry a warhead in their body and are programmed to strike a target using a kind of gyroscope and guidance system. U.S. and regional Gulf reports have linked drones across the region to Iranian construction and blueprints via details such as the gyroscopes. Iran has a plethora of drones, from its Shad 129, that looks like an American Predator, to its new Gaza drone, a Shad 149, that is also similar to a Predator, as well as the Shad 121, a smaller reconnaissance drone. There is also a Shad 123 that is part of the same line of drones. Iran also makes UAVs with names such as Rot, Sija, Serer, Fatros, Karer, and Kyan. Some of the Iranian drones mentioned in sources may not exist, such as the Shad 136, which was allegedly sent to Yemen to target Israel in January. What matters is that Iran relies on drones to threaten enemies around the region 
usually by transferring them to its proxies and allies such as Hamas, the Houthis, Hezbollah, and Shiite militias in Iraq. Iranian operators may fly the drones from places like the T-4 airbase in Syria, but the overall goal is that, when they are used against Israel, the US in Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Kurdish forces and others, no one can easily link Iran to the attacks. In some cases, parts and munitions that may be used in drones have been intercepted at sea by the US Navy as Iran has sought to move weapons to the Houthis. The reported use of numerous drones against a Mercer Street ship off Oman's coast could mark a new era in the Middle East and a major red line in the use of drones against ships. Using several drones to precisely target parts of the ship, such as the bridge or living quarters, may indicate advanced surveillance and intelligence. It is not clear if Iran's drones can be piloted once they are launched by a ground control station.